So after we took a look at simplifying and multiplying, we're now going to look at dividing rational expressions. Um, I listed the steps over here just to help you out. This is still pretty similar to the last two videos, but all we have to do now is remember that when we multiply rational or fractions in general, we're going to flip the second fraction and change to multiplication. So let's start and take a look at this first one over here. 2m over 3n squared divided by 8m cubed divided by 15m. So I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite this and flip the second one over. So we're going to kind of flip this one over. And what we're going to have is it's going to be 2m over 3n squared. First one stays the same. Change this sign to multiplication, and then we're going to flip this. So 15n goes on top, and 8m cubed goes on the bottom. So we took care of our first step. Now our step two is just a factor. So we're going to do any sort of prime factorization we can. I'm going to kind of list this out longhand. So 2 is just 2. m is still just m. 3 we can't break up at all, so that's going to be 3. n squared we're going to write as n times n. Okay? So just get this denominator a little bit longer. All right, and then 15, we can break 15 up into, what, 5 and 3, right? So 5 times 3, and we have an n there on the top. And in the denominator, 8, now let's go take a look at 8. Um, we do a factor tree to find the prime factorization. 8 is 2 and 4. 4 is 2 and 2. We take everything that doesn't have something branching from it, so the prime factorization of 8 would be 2 times 2 times 2, and then we have an m to the third, so we have three m's down there on the bottom. Make this denominator a little bit longer. And now we take a look, Does, just like multiplication before, if anything on the top matches anything on the bottom, we can cancel one of them out. So you see that I have a 2 here and a 2 here. We have an m here and we have an m over here. Uh, nothing's going to cancel with this 5, but I see this 3 here. I got a 3 here and one over here. And then you can see we have an n over here and an n over here, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel one of those. And now we're just going to go ahead and write what's left over. What do we have left over on the top? You can see on the top we have a 5, so we're going to multiply across on the top. We're going to have a 5 left over, so we have a 5 in the numerator. And on the bottom, um, let's see. Let's take a look at the numbers first. You see we have a 2 times 2, so that would we multiply those. It's going to give us 4. Um, you can also see that over here we have an n, and then we have two m's. So it's going to be n, and then m squared. All right, let's go down here and take a look at another one. So now let's take a look at this. Again, our first step is going to, we're going to flip the second one over. So let's take a look at this. We're going to flip the second one. We'll rewrite everything else. It's going to be a squared plus 7a plus 10, so don't do anything to the first one. And the second one, uh, the denominator stays the same, a squared plus 2a. We're going to change this to times. On top, we're going to have an a squared minus 4a. On the bottom, we're going to have an a plus 5. So step one is to flip the second fraction and make this a multiplication. Now we're going to factor everything. Take a look right here. This is going to factor using short key factors of 10 that add to 7 are going to be 5 and 2, so the numerator is going to factor into a plus 5 and a plus 2. Down here in the denominator, um, a squared plus 2a, we can take an a out in the denominator. They both have an a in common, so we take an a out. That's going to give us a plus 2 <coughs> times. Up here in this numerator, again, this numerator, you can see there's an a in common, so we're going to do a GCF as well. Take the a out, and what's going to be left is a minus 4. And on the bottom, again, we have a plus 5. We're just going to leave that. Now, so step 1 was to flip the second fraction over and make it multiplication. Then we factored everything. Now cancel any common factors. You see we have an a plus 5 here and an a plus 5 here. We're going to cancel those out. We also have an a plus 2 and an a plus 2. You also see we can cancel the a's as well. These, there's an a right there um, down here in the denominator of the first fraction and an a up here, so we were able to cross those out. Now what's left on the top is going to be a minus 4. And on the bottom, take a look, everything canceled on the bottom. If everything cancels, you're just going to have a 1 in that place. Now, this is not your final answer. Um, we know that if we have 
we have a minus 4 over 1, that's the same thing as just what? We just need, we can just write a minus 4, and that would be our final answer.